Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my Dark Knights. Um, I'm just throwing this video out there for you guys. Uh, first of all, on the new, brand new phone. Just got back from uh, camp. Uh, as you guys can hear, I do sound very crisp. I do sound very uh, a little dark and uh, mysterious. And that is because um, I was dealing with sinus problems all week. And, uh, as you guys can probably hear, I have my laundry going in the background. I had to dress up as a mascot for this camp for children that I did. And, uh, yeah. But other than that, uh, to the reason why I'm doing this video. Uh, this is basically a video... Okay, anyway, I want to talk about what we just watched. Uh, I just watched the Loki, um, finale, and... We need to talk about this because I, and I do need to do more of these reviews. So if you guys enjoy these, hit that like button. I have a better uh, phone than I can vlog from very easily uh, and do more of these vlogs and stuff. So if everything goes well enough, I will be doing more of these reviews and stuff like this, especially if new um, shows come out. And... I kind of want to get into the meat potatoes of this, but I will tell you, first of all, spoilers for anyone who has not watched um, Loki, the Loki season finale. Go back, watch the season finale, and then come back here. All right, great, good. Now that we got all that established, let's get into why we're all here. The Loki finale. Now, the Loki finale, um, first of all, Miss Minutes, I've never had Tara Strong a Tara Strong character scared the crap out of me. Uh, that was a first. And, uh, yeah, Miss Minutes is a little terrifying. Um, they go into the building uh, that we saw in the end of the last episode, and uh, you hear them... Uh, you hear her talking about this one person called the One That Remains... And we could tell immediately, if you're fans of the comics, you know who this person is. Um, they don't, obviously, in the show, but we do. And uh, they meet this man, who is known as the one that remains. Um, and he's just a normal guy. Um, and they kind of did little subtle hints. He goes, oh, I've known as many things, a ruler, a conqueror. That's where I think he, that was, he was literally talking to them in puzzles. Um, so he's almost like an old man version of Kang. And Kang is coming. Kang is coming. We've been waiting for, he's a classic um, Marvel villain. And we're going multiverse, baby, because like they're... Uh, there are so many things happening uh, with all the different, uh, which it kind of actually perfectly sets up not just uh, Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness, but it also sets up, um, it also sets up, what's his name that I'm looking for, uh, the What If series, it sets up the What If series and sets them up. Uh, perfectly because probably at the end of each episode, the TVA, aka Kang's Empire, will cut off that um, timeline so that the sacred timeline is the only thing that exists and he can continue on ruling, of course. So uh, the other things that did happen, um, where's Sylvie? Is Sylvie stuck there now that she's killed him? I mean, it was very weird. First of all, that kiss between the two of them, they're both the same person. It's like you're kissing yourself. But anyway, um, I thought it was quite interesting that uh, I'll get into Kang, the character of Jonathan Majors uh, doing Kang here in a second. But uh, the whole thing between the Lokis, it makes tons of sense because... Sylvie can't trust anyone. But she's a Loki. And Loki is Loki. And he is the god of mischief and lies. And he's made 
he can't be trusted 95% of the time. So, and now that he's back in the TVA, uh, they don't know he's a Loki because basically when he was thrown back in and uh, she killed Kang, or the old man Kang, and it basically almost reset everything. Um, so they don't know him at all, and they they have no idea. Um, so he basically has to do this himself, or he's going to be a fugitive of the TVA, and he's going to um, basically reset timeline. I don't know what he's going to do. But I think he's, it's basically going to be him trying to take down the TVA uh, uh, again, uh, a.k.a. Kang. And there's going to be multiple versions of Kang, so Jonathan Majors is going to be many different characters. Um, the main the one that we all know, I need to see that one. Um, it just needs to happen. And uh, with, with Kang, them opening up everything with him... First of all, I loved the introduction of his character. Uh, Jonathan Majors did a, an amazing job playing as him. Um, where he... It seemed like he was having a lot of fun doing him, first of all. I mean, if I was that kind of a character... And you weren't... You didn't have to be that kind of person where you just inner monologue... Like a normal villain. You're just... There. You're just there explaining but at the same things but at the same time you're like eh, i kind of want you to kill me because if you do i can roll again and i can just restart it all over again there's many times that he's probably done this he's probably done this time and time and time again and so many times where he can just keep on rolling for all of eternity um, until he meets the Avengers, which that'll be the next uh, Avengers film, of course. But um, and it, it sets up a lot of different things because um, with the if you didn't see the end of it, there was uh, from what Moby said, there were sixty three different branches just done with that break in the multiverse, and it's just chaos now, um, or as he called it, madness. And when he said that, I was like. So basically, in the next movie, you're going to, in the Multiverse of Madness, you're going to have Loki, Scarlet Witch, probably both her kids, and uh, Kang, I'm pretty sure probably Kang, the version of Kang the Conqueror will be there, uh, Nightmare, and, and obviously Doctor Strange, so... My thing is, yeah, and I know a lot of people are mad. And I'll get to the whole Sylvie situation here. But I know a lot of people are mad about that, uh, the thing that happened. We'll get to that. I was waiting for her to enchant him, her to enchant Loki. And what you turn around, the camera pans around, and she's stabbing him in the back while she's kissing him. I could see her doing that. But she's not like him. So, and she even said that. I'm not you. But she does love him. She does love him. She even, <coughs> you could tell that she did love him and she had feelings for Loki um, and, and stuff. But she decided this was her mission. And it, it was pretty much, that was the whole gist of the of the entire series, uh, was the mission, what was the mission, she had her own, Kang had his own, um, to create the timeline, and, he, uh, multiversal war, uh, branched out between him and all his different versions, and he reigned victorious, but at the end, it ended time, and, he said, like, I did like, like, how everything, he pulled out the scripts. He literally pulled out the scripts. Um, which, that was a little nod. I did like that. Th those were actual scripts, um, that he did pull out there. And, 
I find that absolutely hilarious. I don't know if that was scripted, that they, he was planning on doing that, or if he just did that to basically go on the character more where, like, hey, I know what's going on. I know what's happening. I created this. I know this was coming. But with him, the way he was saying, like, you don't want to meet. I say, I'm actually okay. I'm necessary evil. I'm I'm doing it to protect people from me. But he was... Everyone would say he was the big bad. He really wasn't because he was more meanings to an end. But he was the guy to stop them. And with Kang... He's basically did all this stuff and created the TVA to stop himself and different variants of himself. Like he said, you don't want to meet my variants. And he's because he's seen them and they are coming um, back. And this is going to hopefully be on the level of what Infinity War was. I mean, they're going to try have to try and up that kind of a fight. So you're going to have to have an infinite amount, a number of heroes. And how do you do that? You open up the multiverse. And you open it up to all these different multiverses and all these different heroes from different multiverses. And that's why I say, even though they deny it, the Far From Home, or not the, the Spider-Man No Way Home uh movie will have of course all three spider-man and it will help support the multiverse theory because obviously they don't want to say that it's happening right now because the multiverse really hasn't happened yet but the multiverse is happening now it's happening now and people can be mad at sylvie for what happened and everyone's comparing her to star lord and stuff like that but if she didn't, she literally set the, a secondary character in the Marvel Universe set up the next 10 years of Marvel. Set up the, the Big Bad. Set up Kang. And that's why I don't know if he was, I think like he was just like, he's seen it all with this Kang. Like I know people were saying he's, he is evil and stuff like that. But I think the same thing is he knew what he was doing and he wanted him to kill her or her to kill him because if she does, he gets to be reincarnated because he even said it reincarnation, baby. So, with her, we'll get to what I think and what different things I think is going to happen because, and go into some other uh, suggestions and stuff like that. But with him, like when she was about to kill him, uh, she was about to kill him, he starts laughing. He starts laughing and everything and She's like, well, aren't you going to beg for your life? Eh, he goes, no, not really. He wanted to die. He wanted to die because he wanted that multiverse to literally break apart because he always ran one timeline. What if you can run all the multiverses and call yourself a conqueror of all of the timelines and... And basically just cause chaos so he can rule over all. And that's basically what he's doing. And I did like the outfit they showed in the statue at the end because that's very classic Kang. Now, it's not the helmet with the blue head. Um, I think that's the main one we know. Now, the one he will have to do within TVA will be that. Uh, version of Kang um, but what a lot of people don't know is there's many different versions of Kang uh, one of being and um, I think this is a thing 
Ironlad, who will probably be, I will say, in either Armor Wars or uh, Iron Heart, which I think is the uh, Disney Plus show they're coming out with. Uh, that is a young Kang, basically, and um, he is the known as the original Kang. Um, if my thing does, if I am thinking correctly on that, and um, he has a good version in the multiverse and a bad version, uh, where he goes down the wrong path, and uh, he becomes Kang. So there, there are so many different possibilities, and and like the what if series that's coming out they're all their own thing and they're going to be different branches of the multiverse that that will be closed down and i honestly think it will set up some other things as well uh because after what if there is no other big marvel tv shows coming out uh, that i know of so uh, not that i know of um uh, I mean, Venom technically isn't... It's Marvel-associated, but it's not a Marvel product. It's not uh, associated with the MCU. But uh, Spider-Man is. And not only does this set up the multiverse of madness, but it sets up... It, li it subtly sets up No Way Home. Uh, and it subtly sets up season two of Loki and that was automatically confirmed by the uh people who run the show as well it was like season two and I remember seeing that and it was like season two already like that's very shocking that that's happening because like WandaVision's not getting a second season um Falcon and Winter Soldier isn't but they can continue doing this because it's multiverse stuff and if that's the case, Kang's going to be a big deal for a while. So all you people who were hoping for Mephisto uh, coming and uh, Galactus, that ain't happening. Uh, Kang the Conqueror is here, and he is going to conquer many realms and multiverses for the next several years. Now, with the MCU, and they've always been this way, they have everything connects. Everything connects. Um, and they said we weren't going to see him in a role until Ant-Man 3. Uh, I think it was called Quantum Mania. So I was like, okay, then we're not going to see Kang. And when I saw Kang, I was like, Oh my gosh. They're actually doing this. Uh, I think my jaw dropped to the floor for like a moment. Um, I was terrified over Miss Minutes. Uh, over that little like, okay. Um, and my thought is... Where... If he was the good Kang, okay? If he was the good Kang. Or someone. Why did he have Miss Minutes... What did he have Miss Minutes give the files to um, the judge for? Because she had an argument with Mobius, um, and she goes into a portal, a time portal, and he says, where are you going? To go look for free will. I... So that's what I want to know. Like, when she sent Loki into that time portal, Sylvie did, did she send him to the wrong version of the TVA in a different timeline? That is a possibility. That is a possibility. But Renslayer, in the comics is the lover of Kang, the Conqueror. I want them... I'm really hoping <coughs> they delve into that and they actually... She actually falls for him. Or... 
when she said free will, she means the look for him. So she can have free will with him. And rule with him. Granted, it's Kang. He only cares about him. He only ever uh, does. Um, I mean, the man calls himself Kang the Conqueror. Um, where he literally prefer names himself in his own name. He doesn't call himself by any other name. Um, but I did like how conceited he was. He was very like, oh yeah, I've been called many things. A jerk. Uh, a ruler. A dictator. <laughs> and uh, I did see where he was coming from though. Because like, I keep you safe. But... I keep you safe for me. I do this for me. I do this to protect me. From all of you. And. I can see where Loki was coming from. Because then he's like well. If he's telling the truth. And. We don't. We kill him. We're just going to create. A. Um, a. We're going to create something that's probably as big as Thanos, if not bigger. But I, Miss Minutes said some things too, and I'm just rambling on with different things now. Uh, which, by the way, let me know any suggestions you guys thought of the episode, if you guys watched it, or like uh, your favorite part in the episode, or your thoughts on what they're going to do moving forward. Um, Miss Minutes said. How would you like a timeline where you win? The Battle of New York, you win. Infinity Gauntlet, it's yours. You want to kill Thanos? Done. You will. You want the throne of Asgard? Done. It's yours. What if that happens? What if there is a timeline that they will explore in Season 2? Because... He played multiple versions of himself in this show. And it even brought classic Loki. Kid Loki. Like, Kid Loki... Them showing Kid Loki... Is bigger than what you guys most might think. Because... Kid Loki is... A young Avenger. And... Um, is actually one of the only people to actually kill Thor. Um... One of the only Lokis who have, who has killed Thor. So, and the, I, I just love classic Loki. Classic Loki, seeing him in in, in the MCU um, was absolutely huge. I was so excited to see that. And to see it to come full circle... Um, him in there, and then Loki, I mean, I was kind of upset Loki didn't get, like, a costume, he didn't get a, like, a suit-up moment, you know, um, he was just in that suit, and I'm hoping in the second one, get him bringing those Loki guards back, man, that's what made him him, you know, um, you can't have Loki without the horns, the horned helmet, you just can't, and, Loki always is an anti-hero. He skirts the line of whatever's appropriate for him at the time. So, that's... But I think in the MCU, he's more of a hero. In the MCU, they're, they're, they're setting him up more as that. Where he is that. And he's not um, a villain. Most of the time. So, I think... Just other comments here. Uh, moving forward. <coughs> because they also confirmed he is in Multiverse of Madness. Is Sylvie going to be in Multiverse of Madness? I would assume, but... They really didn't open that pathway up. Is she stuck there at the end of the time? Is she not? Is she going to be there? Are they going to find her? Like, how many people are going to be in this Doctor Strange movie? Um, it's just, it's going to be crazy. These Marvel movies, man, it just like, 
you're going to have to watch them so intensely because there's going to be so much stuff multiverse wise that you may not catch um that with the bigger picture you'll just be like oh my god that is what's happening okay um and black widow um uh, black widow has nothing um i mean it it has some other storylines to really set up but it's not it's not gonna have the big applications like loki did um, and Loki just, dude, Loki just set everything up, set it all up for the next 10 years or five. I don't know how long they're going to keep Kang in as a big bad, but the fact that they showed him off was big, was 100% big. So I'm very happy for that. And this series has probably, if not number one, like 1A, 1B with WandaVision, just Loki. As I think it's safe to say, yeah, Loki, lo, it's safe to say, Loki is my number one favorite uh, Disney Plus show so far. 100%. Um, this is my number one favorite Marvel product over the last year. Uh, I mean, I haven't watched Black Widow yet, but we'll see um, what how good that is. Uh, a lot of people are saying it's okay. Um, a lot of people are saying it's all right. But I heard the post credit scene sets up Hawkeye, which would make sense. Um, or Kate Bishop and all that stuff, I'm guessing. But they're, that's why they're doing all these shows. Because you're going to need more heroes to take on Kang and his army of, you know, multiverses of him. So, my thought is, you need she, the, a She-Hulk, you need the Lokis, you need um, both of, uh, you need Wiccan and, uh, what's her another, what's uh, Black Widow, or, or not Black Widow, uh, Scarlet Witch's other kid, um, Speed? Is it speed? I think it's speed. I think it's speed. Yeah, I think it's speed. So you need those two. And you need a team of young Avengers that they are creating. So, and, and more. And they're, they're basically what they're going to do for the next two or three years is just set up this roster, this brand new roster that's going to go up against Kang. And it's going to culminate... With probably, I would say, two more Avengers films. Two more Avengers films. And then uh, culminate with the big Kang uh, multiverse war, if you would call it. Because we had Infinity War, and I think this will be the multiverse uh, war. Um, or I'm thinking an Infinite Crisis, but Infinite Crisis is a DC. So. So I'm telling you, uh, I'm just so excited, guys. I, I'm i sorry, I don't seem very excited, but I'm just very uh, tired. But I wanted to get this video out to you guys. And um, also, we, um, no video tomorrow uh, for the Pokemon GS Chronicles series. We'll, we'll just pull that up on next Tuesday because you boys got a date tomorrow. So I'm going to be busy uh, with a wonderful young lady. And, um, uh, but I will hopefully have time, uh, cause I'm planning on w waking up in the morning. The box for, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, King's Court came in and, um, I have all the, the packs ready to go. I have them, um, I basically unwrapped them. I didn't open them, but I unwrapped them and we are going to go through the cards and see what we can get. And I'm hoping, really hoping, for uh, one of the Pharaoh rares. Uh, because if it's the Ultra, it's over $450. Yeah. So, um, or even one of the collector's rares. I've never got a collector's rare. So if I can get one of those, oh, like, I'll be done. I'll be made. I'll, I will be literally made. And you guys, if you haven't seen on my Twitter, um, I've been opening... Pokemon packs just here and there 
and the first I, I I've had open six packs in total of Pokemon cards of Chilling Rain, and I have gotten two Rainbow Rares. Yeah, a Rainbow Rare, Galarian, uh, Slowking V Max, and a a Rainbow Rare Clara. Uh, yeah, so, uh, my pulls are, have been very, very good lately in both Pokemon TCG and Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG, so we'll see if that continues tomorrow, but, uh, I've rambled on long enough. If you guys did enjoy, uh, please feel free, hit that like button down below, uh, let me know what you, your guys' thoughts also were down there, and, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't think there's really anything else I want to talk about, but uh, I will keep the comments open to have discussions about this because I want to know what your guys' thoughts on what they're going to do going forward with not just Loki, but the MCU in total now that the multiverse is open with um, Kang now literally entrenched in, our, in the MCU timeline. So, all right. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Stay awesome, my darling.